A solar sailing spacecraft that lost touch with Earth soon after its launch has phoned home. Okay, that's a lot to take in all at once. If you haven't been following along, anxiety was high for scientists, part of the space project LightSail, after they lost contact with their spaceship just a few days after launch back on May 20th. After eight discouraging days, it seemed that the spacecraft actually rebooted itself after being hit by a rogue cosmic ray. And while there are still some software issues to work out, the whole scientific community and beyond is pretty happy to hear it's back on track because this is a very cool project. Now, the CEO of this nonprofit group behind the project, the Planetary Society, is Bill Nye, best known as the science guy, of course. And part of the funds for this project were raised on Kickstarter. So it was big sigh of reliefs all around. LightSail is an effort to develop solar sailing technology that was first proposed over a century ago that relies on the premise that light is made up of photons. And while photons have no mass, they do have momentum. So if the sun is shining down on an object, it's actually giving a little push. And that small continuous acceleration allows a spacecraft propelled by solar sails to reach high speeds over time. So light sail will unfurl its incredibly light 32 cubic meters of sail to capture these photons and literally sail through space. It launched as a CubeSat, literally smaller than a loaf of bread, a test phase towards what could be the future of space travel. Now, LightSail wasn't launched high enough to escape the Earth's atmospheric drag, but it is a test designed to gather data for a 2016 flight in a higher orbit that will demonstrate true solar sailing. The Planetary Society has a crowdfunding campaign to raise money for that mission. As for that software glitch, mission managers figured out it was its onboard memory being filled with needless information after launch that caused a computer crash. They've got that one sorted. And now you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.